for. Now, here's my question. I open up my art scroll sitter or my bencher, and it tells me there that if I say the bracha means shalosh, known as alamichia, but then again, if I'm eating apples, it's a, uh, it, I, I said, don't say that at all, but if it's grapes, I have to say al ha'etz, right? The bracha means shalosh. So there's a general halacha. There's, it seems it's pretty pretty much accepted that if a person were to have to eat beheter on Yom Kippur for whatever reason, and he ate bread, so he'd bench. And Yalav Yava would figure into his benching. So too, if he's just eating crackers, okay, so that's alamichya, and uh, he'd have to say the bracha means shalosh after eating those crackers. And if he had some grape juice for whatever reason, so he'd have to make an alamichya and uh, a ala gefen. Okay? Now, would he mention Yom Kippur also in the Baruch HaMein Shalosh. So apparently, yes, that's what the halacha is. But what would the formula be? When I look in my art scroll, it says that on a holiday, I say, with Samachenu biyom hag loni hazeh. Samachenu on Sukkot, Shavuos, and Pesach. But if it's Rosh Chodesh and Rosh Hashanah, I say, v'zochreinu. V'zochreinu. V'zikaron tov v'fenecha biyom hazikaron hazeh, or b'rosh ha-chodesh hazeh. On Shabbos, I say, ritzei wach litzeinu biyom ha-shabbat hazeh. So there's three different formulas depending on the occasion, right? What would you say on Yom Kippur? I had a hava mean it should be samchenu biyom uh, biyom akipurim azeh or vizochrenu biyom biyom akipurim azeh. Reinu bezikaron tov. It says zochrenu perhaps like like a Russian or maybe the uslachu chal la wonothenu biyom akipurim azeh. Something like that. Slachu chal la la wonothenu biyom akipurim azeh. I had three hava minas. Samchenu, because it's a happy day, even though there's Ema Sadin. And the idea that you should say Zichron, by the way, Zichrenu, Bezikron, Tov whether it's Rosh Chodesh or Rosh Hashanah, comes from the implic- the conclusion and the assumption of Gemara in Eruvin. Okay, Eruvin 40, one of our favorite sugyas, right after that is the whole thing about breaking your fast early when Asar Betebes is on Arab Shabbos, which is a halacha that's unanimous by the postkin, by the way, despite what people here might, might say otherwise. Okay. Grimm and Godin tells you that. Right before that, Sugya, you have uh, the Echad Ole Lakan. Zikron Echad Ole Lakan. Uh, Ole Khan. Zikron Echad Ole Lakan. What does Rashi say there? The Havamina is when you're davening on Rosh Hashanah, or the question, sorry. Question on Rosh Hashanah. You have to say Zikron. Are you supposed to also uh, mention the Rosh Chodesh aspect of the holiness of the day, last week, Rosh Hashanah, on Rosh Hashanah? You have to say, God also renew. Rosh Chodesh doesn't get much mention on Rosh Hashanah, right? Now, the, the question Chazal have there is, you know, in the temple, there were two Musaf services, and the one that took precedence was what? The one of Rosh Chodesh, it's Tadir. What is the Rosh Chodesh Musaf? Two bulls, one ram, seven lambs, and a he-goat first an offering. And of Rosh Hashanah, it's one bull, one ram, uh, seven lambs, and a he-goat first an offering. They're basically the same, except the Rosh Hashanah one has one less bull. Okay, so there are two musafs, and they say it's halukin, you know, two different musafim. So perhaps the prayers should also be dedicated to Rosh Hashanah, Yom Zikaron, and to Rosh Chodesh. That's what Gemara asks. They say Zikaron Echad Ole Lechan Ulchan. That's one of the proposals, and that's the conclusion of the Gemara there. Rashi explains the fact that you call today Yom Zikaron. Okay, they say God today is Memorial Day. Zikaron is also the main aspect of Rosh Chodesh. Zikaron lechulam yihyu uthsu afnav sham miyad sonei. The point of Rosh Chodesh is a zikaron lechulam yihyu. Where does it take it from? An explicit verse in Balasacha. It says that when you have Rashi Chod Shechem Muadechem Uth Katem Bachatzos Seroth, Wayu Lachem Zikaron Fnei Lokechem. The korbanos are accepted with favor. That's what the zikaron means when you have Rosh Chodesh. Okay. So basically, the conclusion of the Gemara is that Rosh Hashanah is basically Rosh Chodesh squared. Zikaron. The Zochrenu Bezikaron Tov Venecha covers in and when we when we uh when we have Rosh uh Rosh Hashanah, it covers the Rosh Chodesh aspect. So if you're benching, or you're saying Alamichya on Rosh Hashanah, when you say Vizochrenu Bezikaron Tov Venecha, Biyom Hazikaron Azeh, you're covering basically your prayers for Rosh Chodesh also. Okay? Rosh Hashanah is Rosh Chodesh squared. So you don't need to add anything in the prayers also specific for requests and mention of the holiness of day of, of Rosh Chodesh. So I would question even if the Rambam would allow for Vesamchenu. Okay? We don't have, at least, I don't know, I'm unfamiliar with this. What's the Rambam's girsa or Nusach 
for Alamichia. He just mentions the Alamichia. He doesn't say, he also mentioned it, there's Allah Eitz and, uh, and Al Hagefen, but he doesn't include that Nusach. He well, just assumes he knows how to do it. I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, for, for the Bracha means Shalosh. The Rama just offers the basic Alamichia. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he you know that if it, and if it's uh, grapes or figs or wine, you change around the Nusach a little bit, but he doesn't he doesn't write uh, out the whole Nusach. And he also mentions, and if it's Shabbos or Yontif, etc., you, you make mention of the Shabbos and Yontif, but he doesn't offer his Nusach for such a thing. So I wonder if the Rambam would have some chinu, because he says the addition al should reflect the addition you say in the Birkas of Muslim. So in Birkas of Muslim, I only have two. I have Ritzay for Shabbos, and I have Yalev Yavo, which is all about Zikaron. Yalev Yavo, Yagav, Yerer, Ritzay, Yishmabi, Vakebi, Zacher, Zacherinu, Fikdoninu. Okay? All these different synonyms for the Zikaron going to God. And then it says Zikaron this, and Zikaron that, and Zikaron this, Zikaron of that, Zikaron of this. It's all about Zichronos, right? That's what Yalav Yavu is. So Havlamina, in Rambam land, the Nusach for Alamichya should only have two possibilities. We're adding Ritzay for Shabbos, or Vizochrenu Biyom, Rosh HaChodesh Hazeh, Yom HaZikaron Hazeh, Yom Chagamatzos Hazeh, everything. Everything that's not Shabbos is Vizochrenu Bizikaron Tovah Fenecha Biyom Chag Ploni Hazeh. That's my Havlamina. Yeah, it's just one one Zikaron at all. And, uh, I Why do you say According that? to everybody, that's Yotze. I, I would think so. Here's the Ram that what the Ram says. Shabbatoth of Yomim Tovim, Omer Bivrachazo, Bichlala, Me Ink Du Shatayom, Kiderech Shamaz Kir Bivir Katamazon. The way he says it in Birkasamazon. So in Birkasamazon, you have two ways. There's Ritzay Vachit saying for Shabbos, and Zochrenu Bizikon Tolu Fanecha, a kitzer of the Yalaviyavu for everything else. Here's what it says in the Shulchan Aruch in the tour. Shulchan Aruch says that the tour says that Yalaviyavu, for those. Kiru M. Kippur, fine. The Vilna Gon says a source for this. By the way, how do you know what's the Vilna Gon's proof or source for this idea that one who eats on Yom Kippur should add Yalav Yavu? Hava Mina, maybe he shouldn't, you know, just like there's, there, there is basically consensus that one who eats Beheter on Yom Kippur, for whatever reason, doctor's orders, he eats Yom Kippur and he doesn't do the whole Shirim thing. He's going to sit down three hours after Yom Kippur begins, 9 p.m. on Yom Kippur, and he's going to wash a motzi and have a full meal. And he's going to do likewise at 10 a.m. on the morning of Yom Kippur. Does he say Kiddush? The answer is no, because Chazal made no such institution. That's the general answer. What? I just went to a shir by Rabbi David Yosef and he said it's a Machlokid. Yeah, okay. Machlok HaSacharona. But the Rishon never said such a thing. Okay. So... By the way, the we're going to see, we're going to pull up some Yalkut Yosef. The Yosef family is very good at making reducing everything to reductio ad opinionibus ad desiderant, which is a term meaning in Latin for reducing to diverging opinions. They are able to find that everything was once held by someone, everything you could find. You could look through, the they, they are encyclopedic, so they know you have a lot of Rishon Rachel to choose from, but you could find someone who did say something. I mean, it doesn't mean everything is, is equal. Yeah, surprising. but it, it just because you could find the machlokas, some are some are actually based with you know on the facts and all that. No, we Try to say, like yeah. So the Vilna Gaon source is in Shabbos Kafdal of an Aleph, where it says, "In all days with Musaf, even if no eating meal required, okay, any day you have Musaf, and you know required meal, the Hainu, which days are those? Which days is there a korban Musaf in the temple? But the Jewish people are not required by Chazal to have a meal, Rosh Chodesh and Yalav and uh, Cholamoid, right?" Rosh Chodesh and Cholamoid, we say that. For example, a new moon, we add Yalev Yalev Yavu to the grace, even if there's no Kiddush and no Isra Malacha on that day. On Rosh Chodesh, no Kiddush, no Isra Malacha, no obligation to eat a meal, although there's a Midas Chasidus to do so. So you say Yalev Yavu. So by that token, so too on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur has no Kiddush, that's the Vilna Gon's assumption, no Kiddush and no mitzvah to have a meal, right? You're just supposed to be eating, so there's no meal and there's no kid and nothing, so you still have a Yalav Yavu. So, let's get down to this. person says Yalav Yavu on, uh, for, in his Birkat zone because he had to eat Beheter on Yom Kippur. Or perhaps even uh, so the question is, look in Mishnabura 208.12. That's Reish Ches, Yud Beis. And there the Mishnabura says, uh, oh man, I thought I had this on the screen here, that even on the Moadim, there's only Zohrenu and not Samchenu. That's the Mishnabura's Girsa. The Mishnabura only allows for, you guys seen this? Was there a Mishnabura here? And we can get one on the screen. 
No, I'll take too long. Okay. The the Mr. Brewer's assumption is that you only have uh, Zohrinu. Like I said, look at that. That Shmuel, that's the proof to that. The Chafetz Chaim, even just 100 years ago, was assuming always in your Alamech, it's just a Zohrinu, not Samchenu. You seen that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they have to go. Reish Ches, Yud Beis. Yes. We also, we have printed Sidorim from that time, too. I think that might be a better proof. Okay, go go check it. Sometimes the printers decide these things. That's, that's okay. exactly 